Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. Okay. This is a continuation of let the woman keep silence in the churches. All right. And, uh, you know, a lesson through colors and the meaning of words. All right. So you got a crayon box here. Now, this one doesn't have it, but they actually have a box of crayon that has flesh color. And when you look at the flesh colored crayon, it's kind of pink and uh, it's kind of like pale pink showing you that that's talking about the so-called white man which this is white next to my skin no one is that color and it's sad that I got to get so elementary on you all right this is black next to my skin no one is that color all right even the darkest person is a shade of chocolate brown the jock, dark, darkest chocolate is still brown. Okay? Brown goes from dark to light. Now, here's a color brown. Here's my skin. It's actually more like it. Okay? Even though mine is a very light shade of brown, it's still brown. Okay? People's skin color, Native Americans, Hispanics, Negroes, come in this very shade. Different shades of it. Sometimes darker, if you were to mix these two together. And sometimes lighter, if you were to mix these two together. But no one is white. And no one is black. Okay? Those are colors that describe a state of being. Black meaning you're in darkness or you're stupid. is void of all light. All right. Everything about it means something bad. OK, so even in the scriptures, when it says my skin is black upon me, it's referring to dark like soil, not actual black. OK, white means purity. All right. Which is nothing pure about Esau Edom, who is the so-called white man. Even Cesare Bolgia's picture, you can see the pink and reddish tones in his skin. Next to a so-called white person. They are not white. They are red. Okay. The Edomites. And the first came out red all over. These are that people. They are not white. They are not white. White crayon. Red man. The true red man. All right. Let's look up a couple more things. This is a Winston Simplified Dictionary Encyclopedia. Impedia, uh, 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 dictionary encyclopedic edition. All right. 1933. So we're going to go to the word, uh, queen for this particular individual. All right. Or to the word, uh, let's go back to the word madam. Okay. Let's read it. And it reads, the complimentary title, form of courteous address to a lady, vulgar, madam or madams, a mistress of a house. What kind of a house? A bordello. All right. So this word, madam. All right. When you go on etymology online, it comes from this word. All right. So a madam basically is a, is an owner of a whorehouse where there are plenty of queens. So let's go look up the word queen in its original form before they change new speak the definition. Queen spelled Q U E A N original spelling. All right. Impudent woman, a girl an immoral woman. In Scotland, a robust young woman. Alas. Okay. So when you go on the uh, on the online dictionary, <laughs> it goes even harder. It just refers to her as a whore. Okay. So this so this is what black culture, which no one is, 
brought you. All right. Falling off the lies and the philosophies of a red people. Got to get simple with Jake. OK, hold on. Of a red people. Who gives you white philosophies. When they're not white, there's nothing pure about them. They are red. They are described in the Bible, the race of people who came that way. Native Americans are different shades of brown. With that, I hope this video was edifying and shalom. Oh, you know what? Salakia. I have to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. How about you now? Shy. And double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who are the true leaders of all Israel. Shalom.